Now, from your weather authority, Chief Meteorologist Wayne Hart. Well, for change, the focus this week will be on temperatures and not a severe weather threat like we've had the past couple of weeks. The most recent, of course, being Saturday night when that weakening line of storms came in. And fortunately, they did weaken before they caused any issues around here. But today, we rebounded back to normal after that chilly start, highs of 60 to 65. Tomorrow will be about 10 degrees warmer before that cold front arrives later tomorrow night. And live first warning Doppler is dry right now, but at this time tomorrow night, I'll be tracking scattered showers and thunder showers, or they will be in the process, I think, of diminishing by about 10 or 11 o'clock tomorrow evening. Now, rivers are going up again, but all of our main gauge is not expected to go back above flood stage. Evansville going to 30.8 Saturday night, but at Carmine, Little Wabash is still in flood, but falling, you go below that 27-foot flood stage on Friday night. Here's the Ohio River passing downtown Owensboro on our Kincaid Insurance Group tower camera in downtown Evansville with the Ohio passing by on our Zemer Funeral Home tower camera with a temperature right now of 54. That's not bad, but the south-southeast wind at 7 miles per hour. Upper 40s to low 50s across the area, and we're just going to drop into the mid to upper 40s by daybreak tomorrow morning, which is not too bad here for the latter part of March. Clear skies throughout the region and really much of the country getting a nice break from that active pattern that brought wave after wave of severe weather every other day, it seemed, but nothing really going on this evening. The next front taking shape up here to the northwest won't have much moisture to work with so not anticipating anything more than some garden variety thunder showers around here and even down to the south there's some marginal level one threat as you get into western tennessee late to tomorrow so the clouds increase during the day tomorrow but it's going to be a windy and warmer day with highs of 70 to 75 by four o'clock the scattered showers are getting into the western fringe of the tri-state by 7 p.m the leading edge of the steadier showers are up to about highway 41 they'll continue to increase after sunset that's when the heavier thunder showers are a little more likely especially south and east of Evansville. This is 9 p.m. and then everything kind of diminishes as we head into the overnight hours. We'll wake up to mostly cloudy skies Wednesday morning. Still not bad for starters on Wednesday. We'll be in the mid 40s, but with mostly cloudy skies, it's going to be a windy and much cooler day. Temperatures won't be rising all that much, and we'll have a little more scattered light rain wrap back in, especially late morning, early afternoon. The high, though, on Wednesday, only around 50 degrees. You factor in the wind, it's going to feel a lot chillier than that. Skies do begin to clear as we head into Wednesday night. Temperatures will dip down to around 30 by daybreak on uh, Thursday. And after the rain, well, it's not going to be that much rain for most of us. Uh, generally less than a half inch, Evansville, north and west. But locally, an inch or more possible in some of those heavier thunder showers over western Kentucky tomorrow night. But Thursday's high, despite sunshine, only in the upper 40s. So get the jackets back out once again. Not too cold, though, overnight, mid to upper 40s and increasing clouds tomorrow. It'll be windy and warmer, scattered showers moving in later in the afternoon. Much of the day will be pretty nice, 70 to 74. And then as we head through the rest of the week, the showers and thunder showers increase tomorrow evening, diminish as we head into the overnight, and then just some scattered light showers during the day on Wednesday with mostly cloudy skies, a windy, chilly 51, but sunshine's back for Thursday, but a windy high of only 47. The temperatures bottom out Friday morning at 27. That would tie the record low for Evansville, but then the warm-up kicks in just in time for the weekend, which is going to be a mostly sunny one. Sunshine Friday, 55. We're up to 65 Saturday and a beautiful picture perfect Easter Sunday. Brad and Shelley with a high in the lower 70s. So we'll definitely need the jackets here starting for Wednesday and especially the 1st of April. No fooling, but by Easter Sunday, great weather will be back. Sounds good. Thank you, Wayne.